hey guys welcome back to my channel i hope you are all well my name is eva and yes i know we are well into 2020 now but this is my first video of the year so i want to say happy new year this is my first video of the year so i thought what better way to start than to do a what's in my bag makeup video so let's dive straight into some of my absolute makeup staples that go with me no matter where i'm going so i have this makeup bag here which holds all my secrets to creating just about any look whether it's a no makeup natural look or a full beat with cut crease in no time so let's get started <music> The first product I'm going to be talking about is the Body Shop Glow Boosting Moisturizer. It's a super hydrating moisturizer which is extremely necessary for someone like me as I have combination skin. And during the dry season, it gets even drier and more dehydrated. So before I go in with any makeup, no matter what time of the day it is, I make sure to put a small amount of it and massage into my skin so it's super hydrated and prepped for the makeup to go on top of. The next product I'm going to be talking about is my foundation and the one I use is the Black Opal Even True Flawless Liquid Foundation in the shade Nutmeg. This foundation is medium coverage and buildable, cancels any sort of discoloration or pigmentation and it also has a very nice consistency and stays on for a long time. The next product I'm going to be talking about is my concealer. After applying foundation, you want to give your face some dimension. As a general rule, you should use a concealer that is one or two shades deeper than your natural skin tone to contour and one shade lighter to highlight. The one I use is the NYX Wonder Stick in dark. I use and love this because it's two in one. It has a concealer on one end and contour on the other end. It's convenient and gives me enough coverage and I get value for my money. So the next product I'm going to be talking about is my eyeshadow palette. And this is a super cute palette from Colourpop. It's the Yes Please Shadow Palette. Now, like I said before, you never know when I might have to create a full-blown glitter all-out makeup look or a supernatural makeup look. And this palette has the perfect combination of neutral colors to go with just about any outfit, any bold or neutral lip that you wish to wear, and it works perfect on any skin tone. Now the next product is mascara. No basic makeup essential list would be complete without mascara. Simply applying just one coat of mascara makes you look instantly awake and refreshed even without applying any other eye makeup products such as eyeshadow. It will enhance your eyes and will instantly give you a more fresh face appearance. There are many different types of mascara to choose from, which can seem overwhelming, especially if you are a makeup beginner. But really, the type of mascara you choose really just depends on the type of look you want to achieve. I typically go for lengthening mascaras because I have short eyelashes. And yeah, these are the brands I use. Okay, the next is my finishing powder and I use the Black Opal True Color Ultra Matte Foundation Powder in the shade 400 medium. This is just going to set the foundation and take away the wet look. The next product will be lip product of choice. For everyday wear, I typically wear nude lipstick in different shades of nude. I rotate between the Colourpop lipstick in Quickie, 
then the Colourpop Ultra Lip Gloss in Neat Freak and Milani Lip Gloss in Bare Secret. But I always have one or more bold color lipstick for when I want to change a look from let's say daytime to nighttime like this one from Colourpop. The Colourpop I Love Sahari Ultra Matte Lipstick in the shade Ariba. I hope I pronounced that right. Okay, so the last but not the least product is setting spray. This locks down everything you've applied on your face, takes away the powdery look and makes your makeup last all day. You would notice that I didn't mention primer because in all honesty, I think a primer and a setting spray does the same job, except you want to be extra then, by all means do you. The setting spray I currently use is the Nuban Beauty Silit Makeup Fixing Spray and it is very well loved as you can see i'm almost out but yeah it's that good so now that you guys know all about my makeup staples it's time for you to tell me what you love and absolutely cannot do without in the comment section below and until next time stay tuned and stay glamorous